This is your daily glimpse of science. I just read an article that mentioned COVID-19 could trigger blood clots. How so? A new study suggests that serious blood clots may result from an overactive immune system of a COVID-19 patient attacking the patient's body rather than pursuing the virus. Normally, neutrophils, one type of immune cells, cast webs of genetic material in order to trap viruses outside of the cells. But in this case, the webs trap red blood cells and platelets, which clot the blood vessels. I remember reading that some people have an autoimmune disease called APS, which stands for Antiphospholipid Syndrome. There are autoantibodies called phospholipids that can recognize cell membrane molecules and activate clot-forming cells, resulting in blood clot formation in APS patients. These antibodies can also appear during bacterial or viral infections. But the researchers weren't sure if the antibodies are the cause of the blood clots during infection since some healthy people with low levels of these antibodies did not have blood clotting. During the pandemic, they observed 172 hospitalized COVID-19 patients. There might be a connection between phospholipids, autoantibodies, and high levels of neutrophils in some patients. And the mice that got injected with patient autoantibodies had blood clots, hinting that the clotting in people could be triggered by the autoantibodies. Blood clots occur in the lungs have been known as a significant cause of death in many COVID-19 cases. So, did the researchers finally figure out what caused blood clots in these patients? The article mentioned that phospholipids autoantibodies may not be the only cause for blood clots because other inflammatory immune responses also trigger blood clotting. Besides, only half of 11 patients in the study with blood clotting had the autoantibodies. So further study needs to be done to be sure if the immune proteins are actually causing blood clotting in COVID-19 patients or not. Did the scientists figure out how to stop the blood clotting? In order to stop blood clot formation in critically ill COVID-19 patients who didn't respond to other therapies. They used a process called plasmapheresis, which helps filter the liquid part of the blood and removes the problematic antibodies. And the doctors may need to provide these patients with lab-made immune proteins to help fight the coronavirus. The articles and news sources are in the description below. If you would like to see more of these videos, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. And we hope you find your daily glimpse of science as interesting as we did.